Hello everyone and welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we share announcements and cool stuff that may have flown under the radar for OutSystems developers everywhere. Let's jump right in with the updates for March 2022. We'll start with a reminder from our previous special edition episode about the Build for Peace initiative. If you're looking for a way to support those in need in Ukraine, check out our previous video for more information. We'll include a link above and in the description. Here are some recent product updates, starting with the addition of Leaflet in OutSystems Maps. Leaflet is one of the leading open source and free map libraries. So if you've been missing Leaflet, you can take advantage of it right in OutSystems Maps. Check the links in the description for the OutSystems Maps component, as well as samples and documentation. Next up, Integration Builder has launched technical previews for two new integrations, MongoDB and PostgreSQL, also known as Postgres. With these integrations, you now have access to the most popular NoSQL database and one of the most popular, and hard to pronounce, database management systems out there. Check out the links in the description for more information. If you've been using low code for a while, you've almost certainly run into colleagues or developers outside your organization who are skeptical. Vera Tiago, who leads our developer advocacy team, has just the blog post to share with them, entitled, Is Low Code for Pro Developers? Here are the reasons why I decided to embrace it. The article is a recap of things Vera thought about low code when she first encountered it 10 years ago, and how her view has changed. Check out the link in the description below. With that, I'm going to turn it over to my teammate Christiana for an update on Service Studio and some Forge news. All right, everyone. So before we go into Forge stuff, let me talk about the new Service Studio, the one with the dark theme. For the past few months, the teams have been working hard at improving and adding stuff that you might have missed from other versions. And I want to go through uh, some of them. So you can now develop your traditional web apps with the new Service Studio. You can use multi-language with the new Service Studio, and you can also consume SOAP web services and refresh your REST APIs right out of the box. You know that right-click menu, you know that. And if you want to rearrange your workspace with Zoom, reordering of the tabs or multiple screens, you can now do that. And this is not all, because I heard a bird saying that new stuff is coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned in our forums for the announcement from my colleagues, where they give you all the goodies about Service Studio. And of course, don't forget to download it and use it and give us feedback so we can keep improving. So thanks for the ones that already do that. With all of this said, let's go to Forge. And for this month, I want to highlight two new supported components, the AWS Transcribe and the AWS Translate. So if you need a service to go from speech to text, you have that. And then if you later need to translate that text, you have the AWS Translate. And those are supported components by our teams at OutSystems, so make sure to take a look at those two. From our community, I found a component called Error Monitor. It reads the error log table, which is the same that lists in Service Center. But this one adds a cool twist to it that is actually configuring alerts for some errors. So if you have a few specific errors that you want to be notified about as soon as they happen or as they are repeated a certain amount of times, you can do that with this component and it can help in your proactivity to improve your application. So take a look at that as well. And I guess that's it. So continue to support our community by building, improving, or maintaining the components that you have. And thank you for being part of the OutSystems community. That's it. See you in the next one. And that's a wrap for this episode of In Case You Missed It. Did you enjoy this roundup of new announcements and things you might have missed? Give us a like and subscribe to the OutSystems YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you're sure to get notified for the next episode of In Case You Missed It. Thanks for watching.